All right. So the next thing I want to talk to you all about is melon voting. Um, and just doing another jargon check. When you hear the words melon voting or absentee voting, um, in North Carolina, it virtually means the same thing. Um, so uh, melon voting is a really accessible way to actually cast your ballot. Uh, this got very popular during the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, but what's important to know in North Carolina is that you do not need an excuse to request a melon ballot. Um, in a lot of other states, if you lived elsewhere, you may have to actually prove that you're not going to be in the state or in your municipality to vote. Here in North Carolina, if you want to vote by mail, you do not need to provide excuse to the local board of elections office to actually um, get your mail-in ballot. This is a really good way to vote if you are not able-bodied, um, if you're going to be out of town, if you just want to go ahead and get your vote in or if you're still taking precautions, if you're immunocompromised, it's a really great way to actually cast your ballot. But there's some really important things that you should know. Um, so if you want to request a mail-in ballot, you can either do it online or uh, at that website that you see here on your screen. It's the State Board of Elections website. Or you can actually go to this website and print off a, um, a application and send it in the mail to your local Board of Elections. Um, and they'll actually mail you your ballot. Um, Want to talk a little bit about how to vote by mail because there are so, it's it's a it's an accessible way, but there are quite a few steps to actually make sure your ballot gets counted if you vote by mail. So here's a step by step guide of how to actually vote by mail. So first of all, uh, you should mark your ballot. Uh, go ahead and vote. Fill in those bubbles, make sure there's not an X, but they're fully bubbled in. Uh, the way mail-in balloting works is that when you get your ballot, they'll actually send you like a manila envelope um, and you will actually have to put your ballot in the envelope provided to you um, and you'll have to seal that envelope. What's really important is that in order to vote by mail, um, you either have to have two witnesses over the age of 18 uh, sign your envelope um, and you have to cast your ballot in front of those two specific people and they will have to write their name, their addresses. Um, or if you don't have two witnesses to see you actually cast in your ballot, you can have a notary actually sign your envelope as well. You will have to cast your ballot in front of that notary though. They have to see you do it. Due to the new voter ID law, um, you do actually have to still provide voter ID in your mail-in ballot. And so you will be required to provide some uh, a photocopy of your ID. Um, you can either do this at your public library or you can use a printer at home. If for any reason that you're not able to write a photocopy of your ID, there is an exemption box on the new mail-in ballots that, that um, will allow you to actually cast your ballot with the ID, but you will actually have to return to the Board of Elections office later on uh, before election day to provide your ID to make sure your ballot is cast. What's really important is that um, returning it. So you can either mail it back um, it, the postage is paid. Um, you can turn it into an early lo voting location anywhere in your county, or you can return it um, to the Board of Elections office um, itself. What's important to note about mail-in balloting is that even you can return it at a, a one-stop early voting site, you cannot return it on election day at your election day polling location. And your ballot must be returned or have been postmarked by 5 p.m. on election day. And it needs to be received by the Board of Elections no later than 5 p.m., three days after the election. So if you are voting by mail, you technically can put it in the mail on election day and make sure it's postmarked by 5 p.m. However, I would not recommend that. Um, we all know that the postal service is, doesn't have all the funds it needs. Um, and sometimes mail takes a while, even if it's just in the county. So we recommend that if you're voting by mail, go ahead, request your ballot and get that sucker in uh, the uh, back to the board elections as quickly as possible.